tender and juicy beef short ribs with a red wine reduction sauce, served over a bed of noodles, and sprinkled with gramolata. At a French restaurant, this dish can easily be upwards of $40 a plate. What if I told you you could make this dish at home for a fraction of the cost, minimal effort, and it's pretty hard to f*** it up? The reason why is because of the nature of the braising technique, which can be broken down into just a couple of steps. Number one is sear the meat, which is usually an inexpensive tough cut of meat that benefits from the long cooking time of braising. Number two is sauteing the aromatics like onions, carrots, and celery. Then you're gonna add a braising liquid like wine or broth, and then you're gonna stew that whole thing down in the oven for several hours until it's falling apart and tender. And that's literally all there is to it. There's no special techniques, no special equipment. It's just throw meat in liquid and let it stew for several hours until it is tenderly falling apart. So let's make it, shall we? To start, let's prep all of our vegetables we will need. Diced carrots, celery, and onion, one knob of peeled ginger, crushed garlic cloves, and two bay leaves. Then for our gramolata, we need minced garlic, minced parsley, and lemon zest. You can put everything in bowls and clean your knife and cutting board. We won't need them again. Now liberally season the short ribs with salt and pepper, then sprinkle them with flour and pat them dry. Heat some oil in a large Dutch oven over medium-high heat. Now brown the short ribs in the oil, about two to three minutes per side. And don't overcrowd the pan, just work in batches if you need to. Once brown, just transfer the short ribs back to a plate or a wire rack. They're not gonna be cooked through. Quickly wipe out the burnt bits of the pot, add a little bit more oil if you need to, and pour in your diced onion, celery, and carrot, and cook over medium-low heat, stirring occasionally, until everything's starting to soften and brown, about 10 to 15 minutes. Now add the tomato paste and cook while stirring for about two to three minutes until it's this nice deep red. Give the mixture a stir and then add our ginger, bay leaves, and crushed garlic cloves. Now we're gonna add our braising liquid, a bottle of red wine. Now just nestle in your short ribs and we are ready to put this in the oven. Now put the lid on slightly ajar and we're gonna transfer the pot to the oven and set a timer for about three and a half hours at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. After three and a half or four hours, the short ribs should be falling off the bone. Move them off to a plate, and now we're gonna reduce our sauce. Pour the braising liquid through a fine mesh strainer so you're just left with the fat and the wine. Now add that mixture back to your Dutch oven and set it over heat to boil. Move the pan off half the heat and scoop the fat off the top of the mixture. You wanna reduce this for about seven to 10 minutes until it's nice and thick on a spoon. To serve the short ribs, I like to shred the meat first, get a bowl of egg noodles and toss it with some butter. Then throw your shredded meat over top and give it a drizzle of that red wine reduction sauce. Lastly, sprinkle over the gremolata and you have yourself a delicious bowl of food. Optionally, you can serve the whole short rib with a bone in if you're going for that aesthetic. Simple, very little active time, and absolutely mouth-watering flavor. Also, you can make some pretty insane leftovers with this too. Video coming soon.